If you'd said you wanted lunch, I would have brought it for you. Don't worry, I'm getting back to my garret. You angry about what happened last night? Well, you seem fine with it. I don't know what's ahead for us. Well, it used to be pretty easy. We'd grow old together, watch the boys grow up. And now, not so much. My priority is to prove that Annie killed Stuart, and then I'll move on to the next thing. So that's what I am now. The next thing to check off on your to-do list? I will deal with things as they come up. Zach, you never deal with things as they come up. You're always ten steps ahead of everyone else. So instead of this whole go with the flow thing, can you just try to be a little more honest? Please, just tell me. Do you see a future with me or with Liza? Whatever answer I give you is not going to be enough. Great. Okay, another non-answer. That's great. Better get it. Could be your future, not me. I don't want to use Annie's kid to get information. Yeah, but if Emma is the key Emma's been to through this... Enough. Listen, you told me that Emma drew a picture of Kendall in prison. That is her what guilt. What I told you it's was that she drew through. a picture of a prison. Could just be concerned. We don't know what it is. I'm just saying, that is your way in. No. Annie's my way in. I'm pushing her, not Emma. She's been in hospital already. Do you want to solve this or not? You've got the key right Kendall, to your fingertips. But... What? You just call me Kendall? What was that? If I was with Emma, Kendall was asking the same kind of questions you're asking now, so her name popped out. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I don't get to say this very often, but Kendall's right. So am I. But, Zach, you'd be helping Emma as much as you'd be helping Kendall. End of discussion. All right, fine. But um, for the record, don't ever call me Kendall again. Does your dad know you're here? No, he doesn't like me talking to you. Well, you're a brave little girl riding your bike all the way across town, but uh, it's a little dangerous. I'm going to call your dad. Did you give Mommy my drawings? Did she like them? Yeah, she liked them a lot, especially the one with the cake and the candles. I hear you are quite the artist. I bet you really miss your mom, huh? I want to see her more than anything, but Mommy can't leave that house. Well, maybe you can visit her there. No, I don't like that house. It's scary. What do you mean it's scary? Maybe I could see Mommy at the park. Or here. I don't think that's going to happen. Mommy says you can do anything. I'd have to agree with that. Hey, Ryan, uh, I thought you'd want to know that Emma's over here at the house. But we have to have a conversation about that, okay? About you sneaking away and not telling anybody, okay? It's very scary. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's okay. It's okay, precious. I love you so much. Let's get your bike in the car, okay? Let's go. Hey, yeah, why don't I help her with that? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Uncle Zach. Thank you for the cookie. No more tours of the city. I'll be right out. You want to tell me what's going on? Why Emma would come here to see you? She wouldn't talk about her mom. With you. Any idea why she'd want to do that? You wouldn't by any chance be passing messages from Annie to Emma. No, no messages, just one cookie. Is that all right with you? You know, when I first heard that Emma was missing, I thought it was Annie. That's where I was just now, Chandler Parley. Getting in Annie's face about it. I would have done the same.
reason why Emma is so afraid to go back to that house is because she saw Annie shoot Stuart. We are so close. I can feel it. A Emma can't stay on that information forever. She's just about to crash. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, so just set up a meeting for Annie to see Emma. Emma can see her mommy, and we can get the information that we want. All we got to do, we got to put a wire on Emma. Put a wire on Emma? You're nuts. We're not doing that. What's wrong with you? Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Do that noble thing that's so damn attractive. <laughs> what? I'm not hitting on you. I know. Okay. So go back and tell Annie that Emma's dying to see her. She's terrified to go into that house and just go see how she reacts. If you push her hard enough, maybe you can get the information out of her to prove that she's guilty. You have no reason to trust me. But I think if we work together on this, I could set up a meeting with you and Emma. Even if that was possible, why would you do it? Well, because I saw that look in that little girl's eyes when she asked me which picture you liked best. Mommy me a spike when Kendall was in a coma. When he didn't get to see her. You already know how terrible this is for me. You know I'm doing everything I can to be with her someday. She needs you now. So we'd really put together a meeting. You would really take that chance for me. No. But I would for a child who needs to see her mother. See Emma. Yeah, well, there's some risk involved. You know, the court doesn't want you seeing her, and you've got that ankle monitor. But, uh, well, if you're willing to leave the grounds, I could make it happen. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Leave the grounds. So use Emma as bait, lure me off the property, and then throw the cops on me? No way. It's the only way. Bring her here. She doesn't want to come here. She's terrified of this house. It doesn't surprise you. Of course she's terrified of the house because of what she saw. What she saw? Stuart's murder. Look, I understand that this is a house of horrors for Emma, but if you bring her here, I can talk to her. I can explain to her that there's nothing to be afraid of. So will you do it? Will you set up the meeting? Fun, huh? Well, your dad's not gonna be too long. Hey, this just gives us a chance to get better acquainted, huh? And I bet you miss your mom, don't you? Yeah. Well, tell you something, your dad and I are doing everything we can to bring her back home. And when your dad says he's gonna do something, oof, the world better watch out. You don't know how lucky you are. Yeah, you do Such a good daddy, huh? I wish my little boy had a father just like yeah. ours. <laughs> Who knows, you know what? Maybe someday 